five qualities of a great hitter. In this video, I share with you five qualities of a great hitter. And these are just a few qualities that I've seen from the top players in today's game. Definitely there's more, but these are just the ones that I'm showing right now. And if you watch until the end, you'll learn five qualities that separates players from the rest. And if you start to mold yourself into this type of person, no one will be able to stop you. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, I'm former Major League Baseball player Jermaine Curtis, and I am helping aspiring players like your kid or yourself get to the next level. My goal for 2020 is to get 2,000 subscribers, so if you want to improve, click the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications for future videos like this. So over the course of my career, I have been very grateful to have had the chance to be in the same cage as Albert Pujols, Joey Votto, Barry Bonds, Carlos Beltran, Matt Holliday, Matt Carpenter, Joe Maurer, and the list goes on. And I've learned from these guys directly and indirectly through their actions. There are many things that I learned from these guys and maybe I will make another video explaining more of what I learned. And if you're interested in that, comment below and let me know, okay? So what are the five qualities of a great hitter? Well, one of the things I learned was that they all control the strike zone. Joey Votto was an animal when it came to controlling the strike zone. He was so focused when he hit that he would take borderline pitches when he was getting front toss. Now, that, that should tell you how dialed in he is. And I mean, he was always dialed in. Carlos Beltran would not swing at the first 50 pitches he's seen off a pitching machine. He would watch the ball all the way through the zone and called out balls and strikes. He wanted to know the strike zone because as he said to me, if you swing at good pitches, you're gonna get good results. Another thing I learned is that these guys focused on the ball getting deep and always looked balanced. When I would watch Albert Pujols' tee routine, all the balls he would hit were deep and he never looked as if he was out of control or off balance. Each swing was polished and he practiced with the swag of playing and dominating the game. I repeat, he practiced with swag. He practiced with confidence just as he was when he was in the batter's box. Barry Bonds always yelled, phone booth, when we were hitting together. The reason is because he said that your base, meaning your lower half, should be strong. And if the pitcher messed up your base, then he messed up your swing. So your only goal as a hitter is to swing like you are in a phone booth, meaning strong and balanced. Another thing I learned is that they all have a strong mind and never let anything affect them. I remember Matt Carpenter going 0 for 5 with two airs. I believe he may have had two or three strikeouts too. But anyways, in the bottom of the ninth with the runner at second base and two outs, he got the game winning hit. See, most players would have cashed that game in, but that's not what good hitters do. They take it pitch by pitch during their bats and move past bad outings. Even when they are having a bad game, you wouldn't even notice because of their strong minds. See, a player with a strong mind gets a lot of high fives. Another thing I learned is that they always play to their strengths. Joe Maurer said that all he ever does is play his game. He doesn't try and do anything more. He knows what he does well and he is always playing to his strengths. I remember people asking Matt Holliday how he was going to change his swing to play at Bush Stadium and he said he is not. He was going to get his pitch and just hit the ball hard. See, your goal as a hitter is to play to your strengths. Win and lose with your strengths. Definitely improve your weaknesses, but win and lose with your strengths. Another thing I learned was that they were relentless in their practicing. Barry Bonds started his workouts at 5 a.m. in the off season and didn't finish until 3 p.m. He hit three hours a day and he always said that the season is one in the off season. That was a very valuable lesson and something I took very seriously. Albert Pujols took pride in being the first one to the field and the last one to leave. He wanted to show everyone that he would outwork them, especially the rookies. So I wanted to add a bonus to this video. So if you're watching, thank you. And please subscribe to the channel. My goal is to hit 2000 subscribers this year. 
Okay, so one of the things I learned is that they were also obsessed about their craft. If you're gonna be better than everyone, or if you're going to, you know, if you want to get ahead, you need to go deeper. What I mean is read more about your craft, work out, hit more. You need to be obsessed. When you're obsessed, you're passionate about what you do. And your passion leads you past the rest of the competition and your peers. And that's how you're going to stand out. Simple. You have to be obsessed. You have to be passionate in what you do. And then it will not be work to you. All these players I named above are obsessed with hitting. They lived in the cage and enjoyed every moment of it. So start obsessing over your hitting and your practices because once you do, the world is yours for the taking. See, each and every player that I play with, I took something from them and it helped me in my game. And I hope you can take something from this video and add it to your game. I wanna say thank you for watching until the end. You're definitely part of the Pros K family. If you're not, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We are on a goal to get 2,000 subscribers in 2020. Again, thank you for watching and I'm out.